And district officials from the Kansas side of the metro making their way to Topeka this morning. So they were all there to testify against a bill that would remove some of the obstacles to arming teachers and school staff. 41 Action News reporter Kat Reed heard from both sides of this debate and explains what's next for the controversial legislation. We just heard nearly two hours of testimony inside the state capitol this morning about the safer bill. It came from parents, teachers and school leaders. Now lawmakers will have to consider everything they heard and decide whether or not they'll take up this bill. Our children are not safe on campus here in Kansas. Whether for or against. Vote, I heard here today that massacres are going to happen. I would ask you why. Are we okay that massacres are going to happen? There was no denying the emotion in this packed House committee room Tuesday morning. These 28 pages called the SAFER Act brought everyone there. Concealed carry is already legal in Kansas schools, but the decision to implement it is left up to individual districts. No one has done so because their insurance rates would likely skyrocket. This bill prevents companies from charging, quote, unfair premiums to districts with concealed carry. Please focus on the act actual bill, not the media circus. This is about our children. The legislation would also create a safer schools endorsement on carry licenses for teachers and staff. They'd need to complete special training and be approved by the district to carry on school grounds. Our administration is firmly opposed to it. And I'll take a gamble that our teachers are opposed to it. Representatives from both Shawnee Mission and the Kansas City, Kansas Public School District spoke out against the legislation at Tuesday's hearing. So did parents from the Metro, like Nick Deagle. I just got up really early and made the drive just so that my voice could be heard. Roughly 200 others made their voices heard with written testimony urging the committee to dismiss the bill. If lawmakers in this committee decide to take up the bill, they need to schedule another hearing on it, and I'm told it's highly unlikely that can all be scheduled before the end of the regular session. Reporting in Topeka, Cat Reed, 41 Action News. As introduced, the bill would find schools negligent if they didn't have concealed and carry and a school shooting occurred. The sponsor said today they are willing to remove that clause if it means more support for the bill. Missouri